Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about planning out your most productive day. The biggest productivity hack that I could ever give you is something that's worked for me to build multiple billion dollar companies and multiple streams of income along the way. It's the few things that keep me on board all the time. And if you use these concepts, you'll also get amazing productivity. I'm really huge on yeah, rituals, you know, there's a lot of different people where they hang upside down in a tree or they put liquid nitrogen on all over their body to get that polar freeze or I don't know, there's a ton of them out there. But what I want you to really focus in on is not the daytime rituals, but let's look at your bedtime rituals for you to make a very successful next day. Before I get into it, I'm gonna ask you, to partake in a ritual that I want you to practice every single day. I want you to take your hand and put liberal pressure on that subscribe button and go ahead and let the algorithm know that our content is worthy for your viewership. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about your nighttime ritual. Now, a lot of people are all about putting an alarm clock on in the morning to get up, but I want you to try to see how this works out for you. You need sleep. When I was younger, I didn't really value a lot of sleep. And what I used to think of is, you know, sleeping is a waste of time. But there's a reason why it's part of our system as human beings, right? We need rest and recuperation. We need to be able to recharge ourselves. And if you've ever been injured, when you wake up in the morning, you'll realize that your wound is almost gone or that you've healed. And it usually takes that sleep cycle to rejuvenate yourself. So sleeping is critical and important. So you need to set an alarm for the time you go to sleep. It's even more important now, a lot of you know that I wake up, I'm a super early bird. If I wake up at 3.30 or 4 in the morning, that doesn't mean I party all night long and go to sleep at 1 in the morning. It's not gonna do me really well. So when you're planning out what time to get up, factor in the 7, 8, 9, whatever hours you think you need to sleep, factor that into your sleep cycle. And there's numerous apps out there, there's wearables, there's all type of systems that you can utilize that tell you exactly how much sleep you're getting and what quality of sleep that is. So after you set that alarm clock that tells you when to go to sleep or when to start your nighttime rituals, I want you to factor in what activities are going to get you in the mood. Not get you in the mood for bed that way, you dirty mind. Get you in the mood to be able to go to sleep on time. A lot of people watch TV the news, Netflix, Hulu, I can go on, you know what all the things that you do. One of the worst things that you could do is have a television in your actual bedroom. That bedroom is for going to sleep or a lot of other extracurricular things you might be doing. But that bedroom is exclusively for you to either rest or make love or do whatever you do as adults or study, but keep the distractions away. Keep the TV out of the room. Now, if you've already got this big giant you know, 85 inch TV mounted in front of your bed, what can you do now, right? Well, either you could take it off or just not get into the ritual of watching it late at night. You can also always watch TV inside your bedroom, but not at least a couple of hours before going to sleep because all of those blue lights that we're used to, not really blue, but that's how our eyes adjust to them, your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop, your television, all of these things tell the human brain that you're actually in daytime. And that's why it's harder for you to shut down. And that's why it's also harder for you to get into deep sleep. So get all of that stuff out. And part of your nighttime ritual is to stop watching, basically having what I would call a digital nighttime ritual where you put all of the stuff away and you know that you're about to go to a, sleep in a couple hours or brush your teeth, hang upside down, you know, dip yourself in polar plunge or go to the sauna, whatever you do, it should be minus those distractions. I like to either meditate or read a little bit and it gets me in the groove. So the other thing that you need to do, actually line out three things you want to accomplish tomorrow. Notice that I only talk about three because I felt if you start to make a to-do list, of 10 items, 
you'll be frustrated, you won't get through it all, then you'll be looking at lists that aren't crossed off and that's going to end up affecting your sleep as well. So just make three items that you need to do tomorrow and accomplish all three of them. So they could be smaller items, but one of them has to be a big item that moves your life forward. You could have a simple thing like, okay, I'm gonna work out tomorrow, that's one of my to-do things. I'm gonna have this certain meeting or I'm make this one phone call or I'm going to finish my sculpture or finish my rap song or whatever that one thing is, that's your critical thing, the other two can follow. So you feel accomplished at nighttime. So make sure that you're addressing this list for the next day. If you're finding some of the information that I give you helpful and it's going to increase your productivity and your net worth, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button.